What's up guys? I'm Landon with LMR.com. In this video, we're going to be talking about the installation steps on our SPE AC kits designed for Coyote Swap Fox Mustangs. So first things first here, guys, if you're wanting to know a little bit more about the specific of each SVE AC kit, be sure and check out the link in the video description. In that video, I explain each kit in more detail and go over all of the components that each kit includes. Today, we are going to be working with a car that is currently in the Coyote Swap process. This car is going to be a Teal 93 Cobra clone with all of the modern amenities related to a Coyote Swap. Now it is still in the early stages of completion, but most of you installing the SVE AC kits will probably be at a similar point in your build as well. Going into this install, I would recommend pretty good mechanical knowledge and experience with HVAC components. So enough of me talking, let's get into the good stuff. Before you get started, go ahead and have all of your supplies ready to go prior to installation. This includes PAG 46 oil. You'll need the PAG oil during the assembly process to lubricate O-rings and to fill the system with the correct amount. Throughout the installation, you'll hear me repeat myself several times when it comes to cleanliness while you work, O-ring lubrication, and clocking of the aluminum lines. I'll start by showing you how the two compressors mount to the engine block and then proceed with the rest of the components. First, we need to prep the compressor for installation. New compressors will have a sticker indicating how much oil is inside. Depending on the amount of oil in the compressor will dictate how much oil will need to be added during assembly. Both of these AC kits will require seven ounces of PAG 46 oil, which is the OEM specification for Fox Mustangs. Make sure that the O-rings in the compressor for the manifold are lightly lubricated with PAG oil. Flush the manifold with compressed air and verify the mating surface is free of foreign material. Before installing the manifold onto the compressor, slide the upper bolt through the compressor and use a small zip tie to hold it into place. This will prevent the bolt from falling out whenever you go to install it. Go ahead and do this for all three of the bolts. Tap the two locating dowels into the compressor. Install the manifold onto the compressor. This will only go on one way as the ports are different sizes. Reinstall the bolt that was securing the plastic cover and hand tighten. The torque spec for this bolt is 15 pound feet. Depending on the AC kit that you purchased, a few steps will slightly differ for the compressor. If you have a power by the hour speed drive setup, you'll need to go ahead and clock the tube that will face up once the compressor is bolted to the engine block. To do this, insert an appropriate size deep socket into the tube, attach an extension, and then clock the tube towards the direction of the frame rail. Now, if you're installing the AC kit designed for generic and KRC applications, install three of the provided spacers over the bolts that you secured in place with zip ties. There are a total of six spacers in the kit. If additional belt tension is needed, you'll wanna install all six of the spacers. Position the compressor into place and loosely tighten the bolts. Run all of them down by hand and then fully tighten. Now I'm going to install the condenser and the brackets. Remove the upper brackets from the car if yours are still in place. First, lay the condenser on a workbench with the tubes facing towards you. Remove the caps and then fill the condenser with one ounce of PAG oil if additional oil is required. Apply a light amount of PAG oil to the O-rings. Install the lower brackets. These are size specific and make sure there is a speed nut in the correct location. Install and then tighten the bolts. Position the condenser into the car. The tubes will be facing the engine and on the passenger side. Place the upper brackets on the condenser in the correct orientation. Slide the brackets underneath the core support. Install and fully tighten the hardware. At this time, you can go ahead and pre-fit the liquid line into position and check the clearance between the tube and the header. Depending on your setup, this will need to be clocked to move it away from the header as much as possible. You do have the option to wrap this area on the tube with heat reflective tape or tubing. However, be mindful that this stuff could still burn or melt. For what it's worth, most modern cars produced today have very tight tolerances for AC and exhaust components. Fill the liquid line with one ounce of PAG oil if additional oil is required and lubricate the O-rings. 
position the liquid line into the car. Depending on the year of the car will dictate how the liquid line attaches to the evaporator. For 82 to 86 applications, thread the nut onto the evaporator and leave it loose for final clocking of the line. For 87 to 93 cars, simply push the liquid line into the evaporator until the fitting fully seats. Of course, you can verify this by pulling back on it. The other end of the liquid line will connect to the lower tube on the condenser and it utilizes the quick connect style fitting for both 82, 86 and 87 to 93 applications. Clock this tube and move it away from the header. Whenever the tube is clocked accordingly, you can go ahead and tighten the nut for 82 to 86 applications. Before installing the accumulator assembly, make note of the existing HVAC box stud that is used for the accumulator bracket. This will not be reused and can be shortened if you so choose. A rubber vacuum cap will prevent metal to metal contact and unwanted rattling noises. Go ahead and fill the accumulator assembly with one ounce of PAG oil if additional oil is required. Lubricate the O-rings where applicable. Go ahead and position this assembly in the car. Thread the fitting attached to the accumulator onto the evaporator. Insert the other end into the manifold fitting that is facing up. Push this until it clicks. Of course, verify it has a solid connection by pulling out on it. Clock this assembly as needed and then tighten the firewall fitting with an adjustable wrench. Prep the short discharge hose for installation. Fill it with a little pag oil if additional oil is required and lubricate the O-rings. Install the end without the service port into the open manifold fitting. Rotate the hose and install the other end into the condenser. Clock and rotate as needed. Remove the cap from the accumulator to expose the Schrader valve. Lubricate the O-ring and install the pressure switch. Hand tighten and then rotate a quarter turn. The two provided pigtails will need to be wired into your factory AC controls. At this point, you can scan over all of your connections and perform any final clocking to the components. Whichever AC kit you have, install the belts whenever you're ready to do so. If you have a power by the hour setup, install the belt per their instructions. Now the stretch belt is easier to install than you think. Wrap the belt around the compressor pulley or harmonic balancer. Use an appropriate size socket and breakover bar to rotate the crankshaft. As you rotate, either push the stretch belt over either pulley with your hand or a pry tool. If you're using your hand, be careful as the belt can pinch your skin. Rotate the crank until the belt is fully seated onto both pulleys. After that, you're good to go. All right, wrapping things up here, people. If you're wanting a legit air conditioning system for your Coyote Swap Fox Mustang, definitely consider one of our SVE AC solutions. Of course, have a licensed HVAC technician charge the system with R134A refrigerant whenever you get the car to where it will idle on its own. Since most of you will be in the middle of your Coyote Swap project, you'll have the luxury at moving at your own pace. If you have any questions on either kit, drop us a comment, send us an email, or give us a call. We'll be happy to help. As always, for the most up-to-date product information, pricing, and availability on anything you saw in the video, please reference the video description or LMR.com. If you appreciate and value our commitment to the Fox Mustang, smash that like button. Subscribe to our channel for more Fox Mustang content and turn on notifications. That way you're notified every time we release something new. And until we catch you guys in the next video, you know what to do. For all things Fox Body, keep it right here with the real enthusiasts, LMR.com.